I am finally decluttering my bathroom. It's more of an organizing and deep cleaning, but my point was to try to get rid of a lot of stuff, but I realized that I'm kind of the type of person that likes to use up all my products instead of throwing them out, especially if I know that there will be a time that I'm gonna use it. It's just hard because it's so easy to accumulate so many products, but here I am just cleaning off the counter and I'm trying to make it a little bit more minimal. So just having those three things out versus having that little black container that would hold all these things. Also this cleaning method, I used an old toothbrush and a Q-tip because who knew so much gunk could get underneath the lip of the sink. And of course I was trying to get as clean as possible. So I was using my mirror to see up under it, but it worked. It got really clean and I am very happy with that. And now I know that I should clean that more often. And now my cabinets. I am very fortunate to have this much storage in my bathroom. It's so nice. I can have all my linen in here, except I realized I also had linen that I didn't need anymore. And that one gray bed sheet doesn't even fit my bed anymore. That's from a twin bed. And so that's being donated or used as a dog blanket. This is where it gets a little tricky. These are a lot of my products here, and I know that I do not need three deodorants, but I love them all at one point, so I don't know why I haven't finished them, so I'm gonna work on finishing them up, and maybe the next time I declutter my bathroom. If then I still haven't used them, then I'll finally get rid of them. I am realizing that decluttering is definitely going to be quite the journey and long process for me. I think I'm gonna be constantly decluttering because when I find things that I forgot about or didn't know I had, then I'm always tempted to see if there could be some way that I can use them in the future again. My decluttering word, quote unquote, for this year is ruthless. I'm trying to be a lot more ruthless and realistic on if I'm going to actually be using something that I haven't used in the past few months or past three years. <laughs> so I'm definitely trying to work on that, but just starting out to declutter, I'm already happy if I just throw away a few things and donate a few things if possible. Already since I've gone through this drawer with all my hair ties and hair accessories, I've already noticed that I kind of always reach for the same things. I am trying to experiment a little more just so that I really know if I like something or not, but hopefully next time I go through this drawer, I'll be able to declutter even more. I was actually very proud of this. I got rid of a lot of the hair clips that I just have multiple of, so I was happy about that, even though it was something little. Nail polish, oh my gosh. Growing up, I was a nail polish girl all the time painting my nails, and so I collected a lot because friends would always give it to me for my birthdays, and now I don't wear it as much, so I am trying to go through those and just make sure that I only keep the ones that I know I'll actually wear. I also had multiple files. Well, I had two of those and then I also had two of the rectangular Things. I don't know what they're called. They basically smooth out your nail. And so I finally got rid of one because I used it so much that I just didn't feel like it was working that well anymore.
I have so many bathroom bags. <laughs> I have one that I always use for my toothbrush and toothpaste, and then others for feminine products, and I have one for my makeup. Honestly, I don't know why I have so many bathroom bags, and I know it would probably be beneficial to get one of those bags that can hang over the door and just carry everything. But right now I'm just trying to work with what I have. I'm literally just using washcloths for lining my toothbrush drawer because I don't want my toothbrush and toothpaste on my counter. I've done it before, but I just love the look without it on there. And I haven't bought containers, but I'm working with what I've got. And I did actually get rid of one hair tool, the crimper. It just did not work for me. I asked friends, relatives if they wanted it, but I think I just ended up donating it. And here are the before and afters. It's not a drastic change, but I am happy that I was able to get rid of some things and I can see all the products that I have. I know what I want to try and use up and I'm going to try my hardest to not add any more products until I use up the ones that I have. 